right, let's go. All right. So, uh, this episode for for this yeah. today's Pirate 101 stream, we are going to uh, be doing Wing Chun's promotion. So that's going to be very very uh, fun. I have to, uh, something about the, uh, starter companion promotion quest that I think is very important to know. Uh, if you are a musketeer, privateer, and witch, or witch doctor, those, these three, those three, uh, starter companions all share the same starting promotion quest. So, if you're playing one of those other classes, you'll, one of those classes, you'll basically be doing the same thing I am. Uh, if you are deciding to play a swashbuckler or a buccaneer, your companion's promotion quests will be different compared to this one. So I'm giving a heads up there. Anyway, we're going to deal with our pets. And with that little bit of establishing information, I think we will be all good. I do find it interesting that for two classes they wrote completely different uh, companion promotion quests. And then for... This, uh, and then for the other three classes, they're just like, Yeah, nah, we're bored writing unique quests. We'll just, we'll just give them all the same thing. It's fine. I, I find that very strange, but, you know, it's... Their game. I'm not gonna judge it. I'm not gonna question it. Maybe it was like a, a amount of resources thing or something. So we really don't know. And we are out of energy, okay. So yeah, uh, the nearest tavern cellar to here is actually there is one at St. Bonobo's Abbey. So I'm just gonna port there. There we go. And yeah. So I recommend doing this if you're promoting your companions. Your starter companions. Down into the cellar we go. Here we are. It is time. I must demonstrate my skills to a master in combat. If I can, I will become a disciple. I know we cannot go to Mushu now, but there may be a way I can find a master to test me in Monkista. Stories tell of Iron Monkey, a Monkistan priest who went to Mushu to convert, but was converted. He became a monk like me and a master. Ask the prior at St. Bonobo's about Iron Monkey. If we can find him, I can continue my great journey. Well, that's another reason to start here is, again, three of the companions, their quest takes you here. So, there you go. All right, hello, Prior Andreo. The Iron Monkey. I knew him well before he took that name. His is a sad story. One of our orders... Greatest sorrows. Boo. Brother Matteo was a legend. Blessed by the Holy Tree, he journeyed all the way to Mushu, spreading the faith and making converts. He returned from Mushu, a changed monkey. Matteo renounced his vows, becoming a monk for some sacred cow in that far-off land. He had a new name, Iron Monkey. <laughs> oh boy. When the Monquisition came for him, Matteo defeated three dozen with his bare hands. Mm -hmm. He fled into the vortex of torment and never okay. came out. So we're gonna go to the vortex of torment. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna place a marker here just in case. Well, we are sailing. What can I talk about? Uh, oh, the busy week next week. Um, I wound up basically uh, jam-packing myself uh, with activities uh, on like the first three days of the week. Uh, which is part of the reason um, if I do stream on Monday, I might not stream on Monday just due to how busy I am, but if I do, uh, it's probably going to be from my phone itself, so I will not be uh, able to, you know, um, have my avatar up, which I hope is okay. 
you know, it it is what it is, it happens, we'll deal with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically going to be driving kind of all over the place. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous, and uh, it doesn't help that tomorrow uh, I'm helping somebody move uh, their stuff, so that's definitely a lot. But, you know, it is what it is, and they'll owe me lunch for doing that, so, you know. I'm never one to turn down free food. Particularly from the place we're going, because it's, uh, it's this, like, Irish pub-type restaurant, and their food is really, really good. Like, mmm. <laughs> it's like they have, like, sh they have, like, the standard, like, pub-style food with, like, chicken fingers and everything, but their sandwiches are really the best, uh... I, they have one sandwich that has a uh, fried egg on it that's really, really good and I really, really like. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Well, I say, like, air quotes fun, because, you know, it's helping somebody move out, so it's a lot of carrying heavy things and the like, but, you know, I'll do it. It's whatever. And the other stuff I'm gonna be doing is, like, important things that need to get done anyway. And, you know... If I do them, then I might actually, you know, wind up getting a source of income and I can actually start working on upgrades and stuff, which is really exciting for me. So I'm gonna do what I can. But, yeah. Do the vortex, come on, let's go fast. Go fast, machine. There we go. Alright, into the vortex. Alright, we are in the vortex. Actually, I think since we have to come back here... Oh, I can't put a marker here anyways. That sucks. They fixed that sad face. At last you have found me. Tell Shun Zeng I still refuse. What? You have not come from Subata? Why are you here? Okay, this is a Journey to the West reference. Uh, we're going to be getting a lot more of them later when we get to Mushu, so I'm not going to go 100% into it, but yeah. Shinzang is a Journey to the West reference. Master, this student comes humbly before you to be tested. You would earn your black sash? Come back later with a plate of bananas from the jungles of the Isle of Doom. They're not bananas, they're plantains. So be it. Oh wait, we're collecting them in the ancient ruins, so maybe they're di I didn't know a treasure chest could spawn there, so maybe they're different from the plantains. Because we got the plantains in the jungle. And then we we're getting bananas in like the ancient ruins section, so maybe maybe they are different. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so I am going to do this. We're gonna hop on our ship. I'm gonna place a marker here. And I think what'll be quickest is just to sail back through the storm gate. We'll see. Oh well, it is what it is. We do what we can. <sighs> but yeah, today today was definitely a rush I had to do. So many things. And all within like an hour of each other. By the way, for the humans that are um, job hunting, something I recommend is uh, always, always, if a company reaches out to you and you know you didn't apply to them, always look that company up because you never know. They could have just gotten your information off of a different site that you put your resume and stuff on, and they could not be a legit company and that type of stuff, so always watch out, everybody. Or, you know, they could be a quote-unquote legit company, but what they're doing is not what they're advertising to you that you're going to be doing, so always be careful. Because if you're not careful, bad things happen. I have to admit, I do like how- I like how pretty the storm gates look. They're so pretty. They're like galaxy themed. Like, if you took like the UI stuff off and everything and just had- Like, took out like the 
this guy and this guy they are. I could totally see those as being really pretty wallpapers. But I think that's just my bias towards um, space and galaxy theming a little bit showing. Because <laughs> there are several things I like. I like pretty night skies and space. And I like pirates. <laughs> I like pirates and I like history. They're like my three favorite things. Well, my three favorite aesthetics, I should say. Gold! Let's go get the bananas. I will say that the, uh... I will say that Wing Chun and then the, uh, other two classes companions that I talked about. This promotion quest is honestly one of the shorter. Uh, is one of the shorter of all of the ones you can do with your starter companion. So it's nice to be able to just kind of do this and not have to worry. It's funny, I wonder why we can't get the bananas that are... It's weird, because like, okay... Out here, we were collecting bananas, right? We were collecting those, but we were collecting bananas. Then, we go into the dark jungle. And apparently the stuff that's in here is plantains and not bananas. And then we're gonna go to the ancient ruins, and then there are bananas again. But they all use the exact same model. And I think- don't plantains look actually uh, different from real bananas? I think they do. So, go on, King Zile. You could have, I don't know, made a slightly different model for the plantains that are in here instead of reusing the banana model. Oh, bananas. So, are three right about he right here? So you can grab three really quick by the entrance. And there's some in here. Then I think you can just- they respawn so you can just circle back. Yep. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna- I can't go down that way. Now we're gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Teleport back. Instead of sailing back. And now we can just re-enter. Isn't it awesome? Alright, so uh, this fight is just you and your starter companion. Because we do have a fight coming up. So this is a heads up. I love how I am invisible. Ah, good. And what lesson did you learn gathering the bananas? I learned that no matter how far he walks, a monkey remains a monkey. <laughs> Acceptable. I shall eat them later. Now you will be tested. Okay, by Show the way, me what you have the learned. lesson learned I... dialogue does vary based on what companion you have, so... You never know, you might hit, you might hear something different from what I did. Unless you're playing a musketeer. If you're playing a musketeer, you're gonna hear the exact same thing. I am still invisible. I am still invisible! <laughs> now I'm visible. Alright, I'm just gonna ghost whale. Oh, nope, I'm, I'm invisible on the battlefield. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. This is whatever, I can work with this. Here we go. I'll just wing- I'll just send wing forward as like a bait. Go forward. Okay, will I be able to hit him? No. I'll move forward and I'll let Wing have some spotlight, I guess. I got overwatch off, so that's nice. Oh, his attack is an AoE, I didn't know that. Or at least I didn't remember that.
You know what, Wing? I'll let you have the finishing blow. There. You did something. Wing Chun, you are a student no longer. I name you a disciple. Continue your journey. And in time, you will become a master. Indeed. Come, Captain. Let us go to a tavern and celebrate. Okay. So I'm going to do what's called a pro game remove. We're going to go to Skull Island. Actually, don't want to do Mordecai's quest just yet. We're going to go talk to Vadima, because if I remember right, I have a practice point I want to spend first. It's level 18. How far? How far off am I? Ugh, I'm like half. I'm like almost there. This is infuriating. I'm mad. Oh well. We. We finally finished promoting you, you annoying little gremlin. In we go. And down we go. Where is he? He's invisible. I don't want him to be invisible. Can everybody spawn in? Thank you. It is done. My journey continues. If you keep listening to me, Captain, perhaps even you can find enlightenment. Rude. All right, he is now a Crane Disciple. He gets a heal, and yeah, he gets a heal and his critical hit upgrades. What is it? Plus, now he gets new epics. I recommend getting Relentless and I recommend getting Relentless and Blade Storm. To start. And that's all he gets. Good. Now go off. Give me some pet snacks or something. Alright. So yeah, we're basically just kind of doing a little bit of side quest, doing a main story for the rest of the uh, the for the rest of stream, which I hope is okay with everybody, because I know that's what I like to do. Right here we go. Let's hop on our ship. Hip hip onto the ship. Thirsty. All right, because we've helped the diplomats, we should stop off here. There we go. And I'm gonna mark a spot here. Marvelous! Usually diplomacy doesn't result in so much wear and tear, but this is just what I needed. Ah, you have returned! These fruits smell delicious indeed. Now I must... Word has already reached us of your victory. Yes. The Monkistans are placated, for now, but I'm sure the sharks will... Re ah, good, here is report. Yes. Enough here for me to fake way through to this talks. I figure out tomorrow, 
tomorrow. That's Captain a mood. Captain, <laughs> you've done a very good job keeping the ambassadors happy, and I thank you for it. But these shark pirates are still causing trouble. Oh no! It's not enough to sink their ships. We've got to find their lair and deal with their ringleader once and for all. I have an idea. You can infiltrate the gang. Pirates love their. When you do, convince them you want to join, and then okay. see if you can learn where their lair we'll is. Go to Skull Come Island report first. to me when you're finished. <laughs> right into the Kraken Skulls Tavern we go. What have we got? Hmm, no shocks to be had. Still, maybe they've been here. Skinny Pete will know. Yes, you will, Milo. If he ever appears. There he is. Sharks? There's no sharks in my tavern. Can't be trusted a lot of them. That fin also still wears in paint his tab. I can't help you. Okay, apparently you there's... chose poorly. We must go to another tavern. Let us sail to Scrimshaw at once. Okay, we'll sail. We'll sail to Scrimshaw, and then we'll talk to the Major Domo after we've sailed to Scrimshaw. Big brain. Also, I think I have some housing items I want to sell. Okay, no, it's just pets. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm putting off going and talking to uh, Mordecai because there is one item for his side quest that we cannot get yet, and I want to wait until we're about to unlock the. And I want to wait until we're about to unlock the area we need to go to to complete his quest to get that done. So that's the plan. All right, to the hole in the wall tavern. Which, speaking of hole-in-the-wall, hole like, food places and stuff, I find that places that are like that, you know, those, like, quote-unquote hole-in-the-wall places, they're either really, really good and really, really tasty, or they're absolutely terrible and there is no in-between. Because there was this one, um... It was this one Asian-style... I say Asian because it was like ramen mixed with like Japanese and Korean cuisine. It was really weird, but it was really weird but really good. And essentially it was, um, it was kind of a hole in the wall. Like it was in like a strip mall area, but then you get there and you get the food and it was so good. Oh my goodness. But then there are other places where like, oh yeah, this is bad. So. You gotta take what you can get with those types of places, but you know, I like a good, I like good food. Good food is great. To be honest, I'm kind of glad that, like, you know, because the thing with human kids is that their taste buds are apparently really sensitive to uh, certain flavors, so that's why kids tend to be such picky eaters. And so as they get older, their taste buds kind of grow and change, and I'm glad that, like, that's what happened in my human form. <sighs> because I, if you if you told, like, human, ch human Sona child form that I would wind up actually enjoying the taste of certain things, they, w they would not believe. They would not believe you. <gasps> if there were sharks here, we have missed them. We should ask the barkeep to be sure. I like her voice. I wish that these Sharks? companions got more oh, yeah, lines. They've come and gone. Talking to the rat gangs, they were. I heard one mention something about flotsam. Then that's where we're going. If we hurry, we can still catch them. Yay. Ready for order. Honey. Honey. Oh. <laughs> I think something gameplay-wise I'd like to talk about, because I'm never streaming when they're going on, is there are occasional uh, special weekend membership-exclusive events. So if, you have, so if you're thinking of getting a membership for the game, I recommend it because of these benefits. There are for something that's useful for high-level players, 
is a free player character and is free throughout the weekend player and companion respec. So you don't like an epic build that you made for you don't like a build you made for a companion or you don't like how your build is structured? For that weekend, you can just reset it for free and make sure you get everything you actually want. Which is good if you were playing the game and you didn't know how builds worked and you were just kind of going with whatever sounded good and not what was actually good. Then another one is double companion task orders where companion tasks will give double the items. So for example, do, 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 do. let me pull up my companions. For example, if you do Brawling, it'll be double the experience points. If you did Heal Holland, which is the high level, yes. higher or at your level companion version, you get two training tomes instead of one. Plundering is double the gold, sailing is double nautical experience, makes sense. Scavenging is two items instead of one item. And then Pet Wrangling, it just varies and depends, but again, it's double the items. Very, very good. Definitely recommend logging in during that time if you're seeking to grind nautical experience on a particular pirate or if you're looking for a bunch of pet items for free. Very good. Then there is... Ooh, excuse me. There is... Uh, the last one I remember off the top of my head is double pet experience, which is essentially your pet's gain. Double the experience from both snacks and pet training activities. I think they also gain double the stats as well. So very, very useful if you're looking for a particular, you know, if you're wanting to build protects, build your pets up very quickly to get builds you want. So again, definitely very, very recommended. Out of, out of all of the usefulness, I would say pet and double companions are the best. But the free respec when you need it comes really in clutch. Aha! We found him! Time for some infiltration, eh? Follow my lead, Captain. Sure thing, buddy. Captain Avery's gone too far this time! He's so rich! He's forgotten what it means to be a real pirate! Am I right? <laughs> I would like to note that, uh, depending on your parents' death companion, the dialogue does change. I agree. If Avery has his way, Skull Island will get civilized! And where would that leave us? Somebody has to do something! You there, a word. So, don't like the way Skull Island's going, do ya? To You're see that pirate what found Gun's <laughs> treasure. I thought you were Avery's little pet. You're growing tired of him and his lying ways, eh? Well, we represent a crew. What's gonna set I mean, in story, he hasn't lied to us a yet. Place for proper well, I guess again. the Jade Ambulance. You want to but join us? That was on a technicality. Well, you need to prove you're good enough. We don't let in just anyone, you know. So here's your test. Oh my gosh, the synchronized flexing. <laughs> Go count all the crabs on Skull Island. Uh, you need keen eyes and quick wits to join this crew. Come back when you're done. The quicker, the better. To Skull Island, woo! Creep. Oh, I completely forgot to turn the thing into the Major Domo, whoops. Oh, well, we'll do that on our way out from Flotsam. It's fine. One, two, two crabs. Now, go find more. Hurry! Okay. Also, there are people tea posing. That's three more crabs, Captain. Are there any more? There'll be more atop the waterfall, oh, Captain, my Captain. All we need right, to climb up, up to there. the top. Let's go. Woo. Oh, hey, Alba! You're finishing your final project? Don't worry! Schoolwork is very important. Do If if that gets in the way of you coming to stream, finish your project first. That's very important. I know you mentioned you were baking a cake for it. Uh, were you doing, like, a baking instruction video for it or something like that? Here be five more, so we see ten all together. Are we finished, Captain? Wait. Do them sharks want us to count crab pirates instead of crabs? <laughs> 
can't start now with that for sure. Let's just give the sharks a number. I'll wait till they won't know we're wrong. Oh wait, I thought I said it in Flotsam. Oh well. It's fine. Here. It's fine. We'll go talk to the Major Domo. It'll be all good. But yeah, no, final season final season is important. Alright. Let's go. No, you had to make this talk. Oh, you have to make them, ma them magically float onto the cake. Oh, that's cool, actually. Okay, so it was basically like showing off some VFX skills. That's cool. Or like editing skills, I suppose. But yeah, that's neat. I hope, the, I hope it turned out well. I know the cake was good because you, you sent me a slice. <laughs> But yeah, we finished uh, the companion promotion quest already, so we're doing some, we're doing a little bit of main story and then some other big kind of side quests. Hello, old scratch. What is it, old scratch. I, I <laughs> the major domo back again i see you enjoyed your sojourn to my illustrious homeland yes i see it's done nothing for your fashion sense alas shut up please go right up i'm sure his excellency will be overjoyed to see you hello we got a new Today, one and what is your business a treaty cortez wait a moment are you by any chance the captain that... Oh dear, look at the time. I am afraid I have no knowledge of the matters you discuss. My predecessor uh, left no record of you. I cannot help you. I have uh, urgent... Uh, yes. You'll have to see the Major Domo. I said good day. Also, there's your pimp cane, Alba. I hope you're happy. My, but you've made a name for yourself. Yes, I can help you conclude your business. Ah, orders from Queen Eleanor. It's been a long time. Let me see. Item 1, trade treaty with Skull Island, signed and sealed. Now for item 2, payment for services. Wait a moment. You undertake a secret mission. Humble and humiliate Monquista's greatest hero. Return him home to ignite an unprecedented scandal. Then you free him and help him start a revolution against the crown? You expect to be paid for this? I trust gold will be acceptable. Heck yeah, give me uh, that money. Go, there is one other small matter. You're Your temporarily absence, satisfied. Was delivered for you, marked urgent. Hey, better temporarily satisfied than never I, satisfied. Of course, did you the service of reading it? It seems as if you are in some trouble, and a friend of yours may be as well. Trouble? What does the letter say? Captain, you're in deadly danger. It's the map. Every blackguard and scallywag in Skull mm. Island wants to kill you for it. We need to talk. Flotsam's not- You lead an interesting life, pirate. Okay. Farewell, and good luck. Well, we already saw mention that, you know, Flotsam wasn't safe, so I wonder what those sharks are up to. Hmm. We should maybe go check on that situation. By the way, I would like to note that uh, when you do this series of quests line, the uh, ambassador quest lines and like questionability of this monkey's plan. <laughs> what monkey's plan? That, that sounds just like monkey biz. No, he was describing things we actually did. He was describing things we actually did, and the person we're go and the person who sent us the letter is a rabbit. 
So... But no, we did all that. That literally he gave a very good summary of what we have been doing for the past several streams. <laughs> but that's okay. And hello, Sierra! Good to see you! And we got paid for it, yeah? It's because the person who sent the orders is a former queen. And she's like, hey, pay them. And he's like, okay. And probably the thing is that, like, since, he's, since he was like, yeah, you know what, I'll pay you, that's fair. I, I think he was also uh, dissatisfied with the fact that his boss keeps changing every couple of weeks. So, you know. Also, come on, isn't that every D&D party, though? Like, I, let's be real, a D&D party will totally... A D&D party would totally do something like that. And then, yes, get, and then the DM has to figure out, oh crap, what do I do to reward them? And, well... I trust gold will be acceptable. <laughs> oh no! They've flown the coop! We've got to warn Captain Avery before they do something terrible! Okay, to the barge. Woo! Uh-oh. <gasps> there you are, Captain! Something's wrong! Where's Avery? It's Captain Avery! He's missing! I can see that! Just as our negotiations are reaching a critical phase, suddenly we can't find Captain Avery anywhere. Something may have happened to him. Do do was the principal because it was passed around by like eight different staff members. I find oh it my interesting. He should I remember so that. Soon after the trade routes are agreed to, that lead through Monquista instead of Polaris. You accuse Polaris? How dare you? Polaris comes here to negotiate. We are all too familiar with Polarian honor. You lost the war, so you hope to win the peace by trickery, eh? This is an outrage! Gentlemen, let's not say anything we regret. The last thing we need is another war. I'm sure you'll agree. Captain, I'll hold the talks together as long as I can. You go find Avery immediately. Sounds good. I last saw him in his cabin. There may be clues The plot there. thickens. All right, clues. We gotta go hunt for clues. We gotta go hunt for clues. Okay. Look at all the scuff and scratch marks on the deck! There was a fight here! Oh! And what's this? A glove! But how can we find out whose it is? We can find who dropped this glove. Vadima. Her tell us with her Okay! Mojo. Skull Island! Woo! But, yeah, I know, uh... I completely agree with that, Alba. Uh, for context, Alba and I... Alba attended high school with my human Sona. And yeah, there was a time when our we didn't have a principal. <laughs> ah, here you are. Spirits told me you would be coming. What help do you need, young pirate? Uh, and speaking on, speaking on that principal thing, uh, he would let his daughters uh, get away with stuff that he wouldn't let other students get away with, ah, so... This glove you have, you think yeah. its owner has taken Avery captive? My magic will find the truth of this. I see. Oh I yeah, she only has four fingers, by the way. Of love is shark, rough, and the villainous. A pirate. I see shark in cave with many others. A deep cave, a dark cave. I recognize it. Devilfish Hollow. Dun dun dun. Oh. Devilfish Hollow! Good hunting, Captain. May spirits watch over you. Yeah, yeah. Let's go save Captain Avery! But, yeah, we're just chill. Avery, come here! But, 
Yeah, I, it's funny because like I wasn't, I wasn't in any of the particularly like drama-filled circles when I went to human high school, so I don't have a lot of experience with like the drama that went on. I think the one big thing I remember is there was a. The back of the school building was dedicated to uh, classes related to like career building and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it was kind of back in the back, it was secluded and everything. And I remember one day I was going back there for class because I had the class early ish in the day. And I was going back there and I smelled something funky around the area of the bathrooms because my classroom door was kind of near that area so you know I go back in there and everybody's like kind of talking about how the hall smelled funny it turned out somebody uh, earlier that morning had been smoking weed in the bathrooms to be honest if I remember right those bathrooms are like where all of the druggies in our school went which we didn't have that many but they existed So yeah, to be honest, I wonder if it was one of the culinary students because they had the cooking classes back there. <sighs> I love tea. Tea is good. By the way, have any of you guys uh, done anything super interesting recently? Or had anything uh, fun come up? Because I've been kind of just doing the same old, same old. I mentioned earlier in the stream that I have some stuff that's going to be going on next week. But other than that, I... I've just been kind of living my life. I guess recently something I have been doing is I started working on drawing... Uh, an alternate outfit for one of my characters and I've been really liking how that's been turning out which makes me very happy it may have been the sock it may have been the shop class probably it probably was somebody in the shop class not gonna lie but you know I, I you know we'll see the funny thing is is like I could see it being anybody in that back hall area because let's see there was the child there was the child care class, there was the cooking class, there were two technology classes, one dedicated to uh, learning MS Office and stuff like that, and then the other was a game design and coding class. And then there was the shop class. So oh, I could see any single one of those classes probably having weed weed on them. But I think like my top picks would be definitely the top three picks would be shop, one of the computer classes, and culinary. Because I don't think somebody in like early childhood would like risk their career this on that. This place, it have the bad mojo, oh captain, my captain. Yeah. But if Avery be here, in we must go. Go in and look for signs of them shops. But yeah, I, I could see it. If oh, and there was also the agriculture class. <laughs> Maybe the agriculture class was the one that did it because they could, they could, they they were studying agriculture. They could have grown their these own tracks weed. tracks you did not see. They were made by dragging feet. It must be the trail to Captain Avery. You know, there there's a lot of speculation here. Oh, I nailed that. I nailed that. All right. The sharks, them be inside, and I, and I sense every be with them. Go but, in. Oh yeah, for the for those for of you anything. that miss it, uh, missed it earlier, we promoted our boy Wing Chun into a crane disciple. He can heal people now, so now he's actually a little bit more useful. He's still very annoying though. But yeah, it is interesting because like. Oh gosh, you're probably right. I know, it's like... <laughs> so, you've tracked down your precious Captain Ivory, eh? Too bad you'll never see him. Although it could depend, Thrash because him, I did, in middle school, wind up taking... I know the stuff that we're already doing dip, yeah. Which, uh, for those of you that don't know what uh, dip is, uh, it's chewing tobacco. So, yeah, no... 
I I mean the shop kids were doing dip too, like <sighs> but yeah, it's really funny because like I think that other than like weed and maybe stuff like dip, people there weren't there wasn't really that big of like a drug problem in our high school. Which was very weird. Oh, by the way, uh, something interesting about uh, this dungeon in particular is that the enemies scale to your level. So if you took this class, at, if you took this quest line at level, the scaling stops once you hit about level 50. But if you are level 50 or higher, the enemies here will be level 50. But right now, since we're only level 17, they're level 10 enemies. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they ba they basically scale them to your level, which I think is pretty cool, because then you can take this quest kind of at any point in the game. I just decided to take it early and get it done early. <laughs> All right, we got him. So got that him, we got him. Fits the sharks have every. We will scour this cave until we find him. Yes, we will. More sharks! Fight them! Woo! Sharks, sharks. I actually did this quest uh, on my level 70 swashbuckler recently to make sure I had my information correct on the does the level scaling actually work, and it does. So. But yeah, I honestly don't have a lot of very interesting high school stories, but that's just because I ran with like the chill gamer crowd. So we didn't really have all that drama. I mean, maybe somebody in our group was a druggie, but if they were, like they were very low key about it and they didn't do it at school. So, you know, is what it is. <sighs> Oh, here's the overpowered bird for you, Alba. But I, I don't know about you, Alba. I know you ran with the theater kids, so maybe you have some stories about crazy stuff that happened. Because I... Again, I ran I ran with like the chill gamers and I was part of like the riding club and stuff like that, so I didn't really do much. I kinda just existed. I mean, I say I just existed, but I mean I did other stuff too. I think my thing is is that I was in like a wide variety of classes. Because I took, uh, I took engineering classes, I took both the game design and the business computer classes. I got shoved into dance at one point, There's that was an experience. Of them. Let's press on! Captain Avery must be down here somewhere! Oh boy, we got a theater kid story! Oh boy! <laughs> but yeah. I think the weirdest thing that happened to me in any of my classes was somebody telling me that I smelled like french fries. So, you What's know. This? Do I know you? Ah, there you are, Captain. What kept you? Quiet, Avery. you strutting peacock. This whelp won't save you. We'll ruin your precious talks and then Skull Island will belong to real pirates again. Pirate! This is your last chance. Leave now or perish. Now, now, my dear Marcus. Did you really think you could ruin my dream? Captain, thanks for the distraction. Now, let's show these varlets who the real pirates are! Heck yeah! So, for this fight, you get Captain Avery and his pet bird as your uh, allies. They will be level scaled to the same leveling scale the enemies are at. So, just so you know... We got our fishies. We got the go fast machine. 
I got the overwatch and the critical hit. Double tap. Also, they should have made Avery a swashbuckle over. Like, his health is way too low to be a buccaneer. Okay. I'm gonna go for incendiary shot on those two. You hit Mark. I'm just gonna have everybody else attack Marcus, and I'm gonna focus on getting the other ones down low. Boo! Burp. The one thing I respect Avery for, he also is a burb enjoyer. Uh, oh! Okay. I'm gonna do a heals. Okay, there we go. Chantal got him. I don't know if anybody else here has like any really weird high school stories or not. I'm on it. So I, just, I, would, I just kind of existed. <laughs> but I suppose existing is like kind of the, the good option when you're in high school because like nobody bothers you but you also don't get caught up in anything weird. I think like my best high school memory memory is just in the computer in like the coding class. Um, we would we would basically he beat me. Dash it all. Skull Island's lost. You can't. Oh, Skull Island. Well, Captain, many thanks for the rescue. Now but, take me back yeah, to the negotiations was, uh, before all thing. the ambassadors leave. In high school, um, I think the the only like kind of crappy thing I did was we'd get our work done in the coding class like super early a lot of us would so we just sit there and play um and play video games the rest of the time because we all because a lot of us had 3ds's so oh, Captain yeah Avery thank the stars you're all right I was beginning to think we'd end up starting a war if we had well we can't have that and as long as these talks continue I'm okay. sure the ambassadors will still occasionally need your help Come back often. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some side quests. Oh, uh, come. Are you kidding me? Of course, we have stuff in Monkeysta. Oh well, we can do the other one when we get- we can do the La Mancha one when we go back there next time. Crafting canteens, crafting canteens. But yeah, there are- there were- there were some experiences. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though. High school experiences really don't matter in the long run, aside from besides of maybe being good stories to tell later. Same with college, it's like maybe you'll have good stories, maybe you won't. The important thing is that you just get out of there. You know, you get out of there alive and with your piece of paper. Because <laughs> if you have your piece of paper, you're fine. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Alright, but Royo's a Tell me this, the only reason that any jocks joined drama was because oftentimes the dumbasses would spread stupid rumors that theater girls were also into freaky stuff and they were hoping one of them would put out... Yeah, that sounds about right. Ah, Monkeysta. Such a beautiful place. 
My, it seems I've run out of canteens. I could make more if I had batacuta hides and jellyfish tendrils. Could you get me some? I'll pay you for your time. But yeah, it's. <laughs> But yeah, I, I will say, uh, if you were in theater, there is a high chance that you are not. You are not 100% conforming to what's to society's expectations, I'll say that much. But, yeah, I mean, I, high school's just an experience, and, like, it's funny because when you're in high school, you can tell who's peaking in high school. <laughs> Ooh. Whoosh. 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 I'm gonna place a marker here now. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, hello, barkeep. One-eyed Jack. Why, oh, I know that old rascal. He was... Uh, rats came for him. Wolf rat thugs. Mean ones, too. They took Jack into the city. Look for him there. Okay. Also, it is a big, giant garbage pile. We are truly in the scenery. Give them this for high school or some of them were into that sort of stuff, but they obviously would never grow for jocks. <laughs> True. Young, you doubt me, as I've said before. I may be blind, but I have long ears. Do you want to know where Jack is or no? Very well, then. I distinctly heard the soft rustle of rabbit fur pass me. Accompanied the rustle of rabbit fur. Hobnailed boots of the kind It was fairly tame compared to what adults are into. Yeah! A voice, definitely a wharf rat spoke of getting paid for easy work and specifically mentioned the name Nim. Oh, this is a reference to the book Miss Brisby and the Rats of Nim. I actually read it in elementary school. Nim? Meanest wharf rat in all Scrimshaw. A vile of fiend you'll never find. He and his eh, He'll be fine. Uh, what a jack will be fine. I'm madly in love with the beautiful swashbuckler Jane. I've tried... I'm not trained in the art of combat, but I think if I pluck starfish from the skyway, it might win her favor. Could I hire you to collect some? Sure. We're gonna grab all the side quests. We're gonna grab all the side quests and do all the side quests. Hi. I promised to have a dress sewn for Clarissa, a bride-to-be, in time for her ceremony. The date is approaching and I've run out of silk! I'm offering gold I can't set fire to the garbage piles. I don't have a command for that. If you can get the tarnished tea set from Captain Robert Leach in Tradewind Skyway without mentioning who sent you, there's gold in it for you. My Captain Billy Black, go ask the girl if my Captain ever made it to her with the rings. She's on the West Rim, at the Yellow House, with the Crow's Nest. What some? But yeah, we're just, we're just doing side quests. Like, we've made a little bit of story progress, but it's, it's side quest in time. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my ship figurehead? I think it fits my aesthetic quite well, don't you? But no, Alba, we cannot set things on fire right now, I'm sorry. Alright. That's a kudas, where are you? Starfish. Dagnabbit, yeah, I'm sorry. If this was real life, I'd let you set the garbage on fire. So long as it was safely flammable and did not release carcinogens. Actually, 
no, we shouldn't do that. Here we go. <laughs> Agility buffs go. Arson with standards. Yes, I'm not a monster. I do, in fact, have standards. I don't know why people assume I don't. Sure, you guys actually money can't hit them, so you get that one. There we go. Okay, double tap. There we go. All good, yay. John's all money in and burp. And everything's dead. And this, my boys, is what we call efficiency. Like, look at how efficient this is. Oh, come on. Are we gonna have to do eight fights? Are you kidding me? Gross. Good old King Zell, defeat and collect quests. Here goes. <sighs> yeah, it's so funny because some of the uh, some of the defeat and collect quests they completely rebalanced because the odds were so low, and then other ones they left as is, and they're just terrible. What kind of theater kid tea would I like for you to share? Ooh. Okay. I think. Uh, number one, what percentage of your class do you think was definitely not straight? And then the second question would be, what percentage of the class was druggies? That is what I am curious about, because I have I had I have the T on the like career path hall amount of druggies, but for the other areas of school, I have no I of the school I had no idea. So. That, that's the stuff I want to know. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we got to five. Okay. So it looks like it's like a range of like one to four per fight. That's cool. Okay. Not straight. Hard one third minimum. Ooh. Yeah, because you did mention that some jock, like, jock type quote-unquote jock types joined so it would make sense that like you know there's at least a portion that are probably straight but yeah that 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 sounds about right I step away for a bit and when you come back we're talking about being gay and doing arson druggies about a quarter but never at school yeah that sounds about right because like the theater kids I feel like are actually smart or like they have at least some level of common sense and yes Sierra you're welcome also, we're not being gay, we're talking about if other people that were known were gay. As we should. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, yeah, the the, the, the uh, I'm a big proponent of the phrase "be gay, do crime." So, All right. 
All right. I love Bonnie's voice. The Scottish accent is. Yeah, no, the CTA hall, like, some of us had common sense, but the people with common sense were the ones in everything but the shop in the ag class. If it was shop or ag, they probably, there was probably not a lot of common sense there. No thoughts, head empty. Gosh darn, I killed two of them. Fish. Okay, okay. Jolly. Fish. <laughs> killed the fish. The fish is killed. <laughs> Funny. Yes. Oi, oi. Oh, wait, I think I can train. I don't know, man. So, classes we had in the computer class we shared it. That's true. I think in my case, I like stayed the heck away from them, and I was kind of, um. I think it's the coding class had the incelly guys, but if it was the business class, probably not. But yeah, I, and I think because I was a I was a teacher's pet, I didn't really get messed with too much, which is good. So you know, I, I was hanging out with the mostly chill people. Any more questions regarding theater? You did tech, right? Or, I think- I know you did, like, perform in some stuff, but it was mainly in class stuff, right? Guns, guns. <sighs> but yeah, since I didn't do much in high school, I don't really have any. I don't have particularly interesting high school stories because... I mean, I guess I had the writing club, but like... We just, we wrote stuff. You see, did on occasions working in the booth, fixing the lights and the mics. Yeah. To be honest, I have, I have a lot of respect for people that did like theater tech and stuff because I know that that stuff's complicated to get sounding right and the like, <laughs> and getting the lighting to look right and everything. I guess it's like for my high school stories, uh. It's funny because, like, I always manage to leave, like, a really, really good impression on my teachers, even if I was not the best in their class. Because uh, I distinctly remember with dance, I was terrible at dance. Like, actually dancing, remembering the terms and stuff and knowing the steps and stuff to do, that was fine. But actually dancing, I was terrible at, and it's because uh, a lot of the other girls... Oh, you were assistant director for a student production? That's cool! But yeah, a lot of the other girls in that elective had, uh... 
gymnastics and or previous dance experience and I had none of that. I was a I was uh, a basketball, soccer and taekwondo kid. <laughs> So even though I was like a real I was like a really good student and I was like constantly trying and everything, my dancing was always terrible. <laughs> and so I'd always be in like I'd be in the back of the performance due to how bad I was, despite the teacher genuinely liking me as a student, and it was it was just really funny for me. <laughs> I think it also didn't help that I, I'm very tall, or I'm not very tall, but I'm definitely on the tall side. And again, all of the other girls in the class were a good few heads shorter than me. <laughs> I think the only person that came close to my height was when we would have male students in the class for whatever reason. <laughs> to be honest, one of the male students we had in the class was really, really cool. You were doing- that's true, I was doing my best. <laughs> I was doing my best and it was really fun. Um, I remember one of our- uh, the first year I did dance, because I did it for two years if I remember right. Uh, the first year I did dance, uh, we did an Electra Swing song as one of our dances, and then our other dance was too. Can you feel the love tonight from the Lion King? And I forget... I forget what we did the second year. Like, I genuinely can't remember. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what we did my se the second year I had dance. No thoughts had empty. There is a bork. You remember that one? Oh, okay. Oh, were you... Were you working the booth when we did that? <laughs> Genuine question. All right. you, th you still think the Lion King song was pretty? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> But why, why was the Lion King song such a bad idea? <laughs> like, was the dance actually bad or was it just like you didn't like the song choice? I think the thing I didn't like is that they did one version for the star and then they quickly transitioned it to a different version. I think that was the main problem I had with it. But other than that, I didn't really take too much issue. The Electra Swing song was fun though. I, I genuinely enjoyed that one. Okay, that's it. With the dancers that were using the porn, it didn't match mesh well as a whole. Yeah. Hey, I I can see that, but I think it's because um, basically what it was is that you cover two. The electro swing song was fine and fun though. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is the electro swing song was paired with our jazz dance. Because what the class did was that it was uh, during each half of the semester we'd cover two, we'd learn about two different types of dancing, jazz dance and ballet dancing. And so the Lion King song was our ballet dance. And then the Electra Swing song was our jazz dance. So I think what it was is that the Lion King song wasn't designed for the type of dancing we were doing to it, so that's probably why it felt so awkward. But then the Electro Swing song, we're doing like a jazz style dance. It's gonna fit with a jazzy type of song. So. Okay, okay. Is that all? But yeah, that's what I think at least. <laughs> Woo! 
So yeah, I think the only reason I was thrust into dance was because I didn't have an art credit and they're like, we need to we need to show that this person did some form of art. And it's a jellyfish! Y'all really coming back here for more, huh? But yeah, it's, it's funny because I genuinely would have preferred like uh, an actual like physical art class, but that thing filled up like crazy. I think the second year I took dance, it was because I had a gap in my schedule and we needed to fill it with something, and they were just like, uh, the only, the main thing that's available is dance, and I'm like, yeah, put me in it again, I don't care. I was so sad they didn't set me into the creative writing class. Oh, I did take the creative writing class, actually. Uh, you honestly didn't miss much. <laughs> it, w it was mainly, uh... The main thing I remember is we did one writing assign- oh, you did your one writing assignment, and then that was it. You did your writing assignment, and then the rest of the class was kind of mess around. Because, yeah, we created that, like, we created, like, a visual arts magazine as sort of like an alternative thing to yearbook. But getting writing pieces for it was really, really difficult. We mainly got people submitting art pieces. My, con my contribution was I submitted a ton of art pieces, but uh, I also I also did help a little bit with like some layout and color choices and stuff if I remember right. Also, we're level 18 finally. Ready for order. Give me. But yeah, the creative writing class was interesting. Hello, starfish. Okay. Next up, I want to go get that tea set. But yeah, creative writing was fun though. I enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see if you couldn't have gotten into the class, you should have joined us in the club for the writing club. Salsalele. Ooh. Yeah, Sierra, I know you're lurking. Do you have any interesting high school stories? Or is it like, nah, I just, I just vibed. Just vibing, man. She goes to the theater, so I just have to scream for myself that you will never date anyone you work with. <gasps> oh, I. How fitting that the drama class had the most relationship drama. <laughs> what is it, Captain? Yes. Only after the production is finished. Yeah. Go get those cloths. Human boys. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah. I'm debating on whether I should do like a... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to do like... Something I'd like to do as a fun like is maybe like a history fact stream or uh, reading like a historic book or something out. I don't know, I think, or like a book about history out. I think that would be fun. And I do have a lot of uh, history book options, like a lot. Here we go. Shit fights. At least I have someone there helping. That's always nice. Good one years. Good day, Liz. Night before the ult. Oh my god. Oh my god. Before the competition. Oh my gosh. Why would you do that? Oh my gosh. That is. <laughs> Drama theater kids, oh my gosh. Shit, parts. Oh, we got a better wheel. I'm gonna have to put that. <sighs> to be honest, hearing stuff like that makes me kind of glad I didn't get really involved in clubs. Batokuta. Bababuba. Scratch, go get gold while I'm killing things. Okay, there we go, I got that one. Not really the club that was a problem, just the self centered students that really caused the ruckuses. That's true. Well, that's true of any club, any club, I assume. Cricket <sighs> hobby. But yeah, I I in high school pretty much did focused on writing, reading, <laughs> getting my schoolwork done. And maybe on occasion drawing something for myself. <laughs> oh, and gaming with my friends. But it was very funny because, like, gaming with my friends was like... There was a gaming with my school friends and then gaming with, like, my online friends. And both had very different vibes and experiences. But I will say that the online friends are still in my life to this day. Well, uh, the, a lot of the high school friends have kind of drifted apart 
Besides Alba, Alba is still around. Alba will forever be here. Eternally. The Alba is eternal. I may or may not have slipped an immortality potion into Alba's drink once, so now they're stuck with me forever. No, you're stuck with me! You're stuck with me! I'm the one that gave you the immortality potion! Cricket! Blackburn never delivered. Do this for me. Maybe I'll tell you where you might find Blackburn. Maybe I'll tell you where you might find Blackburn. I like how we've got like such a wide range of voices here. It's like we got British, we got tough guy, we got Spain. I haunt you with arson to the illicit acts of villainous intent. I mean, I I have done some things, so I I can't I can't exactly judge when you want to commit arson. I can only just discourage you from committing arson. Waponi. Well, Yeah, let's hope I can get these rings fast, because from what I remember, they take forever to get. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> By the way, Alba, based on what you've seen of the game, uh, what class do you think you would probably enjoy playing? I'm curious. Your criminal over 100 companies alone just by your mere existence. <laughs> Fair enough! Okay. Eh, this is gonna take forever. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, really Pew. Pew. But yeah, it's okay. Crime is fine. Crime is okay. As I've said before, murder is okay. At least in my line of work. Because I suppose since I am a privateer, but I'm a privateer for the Fey realm. That technically, you know, if you burn me if I stress, but they're not an option. <laughs> not unless you make one, and even then, you can't control them. But yeah, you know. magical pancake to the back rooms. <laughs> Hello, pancake. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. It is good to see you again. How are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. We're just uh, we're just doing some Pirate 101 side quests and stuff. Uh, work stuff has mainly been what you've been up to. Yeah, on that nine to five grind. Yay! 
Yeah, I'm glad you turned up. It's nice to see you. Ooh, critical hit, yes. What game is this? Uh, this is Pirate 101. It is an MMORPG. It's by the same people that made uh, Wizard 101, if you're familiar with that. It, it's my Thursday stream game, basically. So you know, you've got pirate ship battles, you've got varying classes that are themed around various types of pirates. I'm playing the musketeer class, which is essentially the gunslinging class. <laughs> it's a gunslinging class that focuses on kind of area control and area denial. But there are other classes too, like if you want to play like a stereotypical tank, there's an option for that. You want to play something more in line with a rogue, there's that. You want to play like a more of a spellcaster character? There's that kind of there's a class for that. Gunslinger, like my freeze rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, if Peacock did play the if Peacock from Skull Rolls did play this game, she would totally 100% play Musketeer. Like that 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 is that is her vibe. You always like healer type roles. Uh, the, there is a healer type role in this game. What's fun though is that like. The healer character has other buffs besides healing, and na name a lot of those buffs. Wide are yes, we are going to make our we are going to make our other units extremely overpowered. All right, got yeah, four out of six. Nice. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get two in a fight. I doubt I will. Hello, hello, Pabu. I'm gonna call you Pabu. Hello, welcome. It is good to see you as well! I hope you are doing very well. <laughs> Go Bonnie! Right now, we're just working on side quests and stuff, so... Nothing very interesting is happening. But, you know, we're here, we're vibing. Everything's good. <laughs> yeah, Alba, Alba and I were talking about uh, old school days stuff a while ago, so that was very fun. I was debating on getting Street Fighter 6, but you're a bit hesitant. S I don't play a lot of fighting games. I can't say whether I'd get it or not. I'd probably have to ask like one of my friends who's more familiar with them about it. <laughs> you bet that person isn't here right now. You're going to New Orleans with your with a jazz band. You're gonna get on your bus at 2:30 a.m. Jeez. I hope you're able to at least get a little bit of sleep on that bus, cause two waking up at 2:30 a.m. is a big oof. <sighs> I'm guessing you're going to New Orleans for like a game or something? Or is it a competition? Because it is a jazz band. We're flying the buses just to the airport. Well still, I hope you're able to get some sleep. Go use energy drinks. Whatever we Greek people it reminds me of the season people in group therapy. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, Pooh, I hope your competition goes well. Or at least I'm assuming it's a competition since you mentioned it was for jazz band. There's a big jazz festival and you're playing some gigs at clubs and whatnot. Ooh! Oh, that's really cool, actually. Hello, my name is Alpha and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, Papu, I hope the gigs go well. That sounds really fun. I know that uh, one of my one of my college friends <laughs> sounds fun. Where's Big Band? 
<laughs> the rest of the Alcoholics Anonymous group. Hi, Alma. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. the jazz. The jazz festival sound. The jazz festival sounds really fun, actually. Uh, it kind of reminds me of. Oh, excuse me. One of my college friends who uh, she participated in like a giant choir festival that was uh, in the town our college was in, and that was really cool for her. And it's funny because a, a choir from my hometown uh, came there the and showed up, and that was fun. Into our house down the street. Something tells Busta me and Charlie. There. Speaking of the name Charlie, have any of you guys ever watched like that show uh, Charlie and Lola? Because I vaguely remember it. I re vaguely remember watching it as a kid. And it's funny because uh, I know that the, if I remember right. I actually wound up reading another book by that same author, and the re only reason I read it is because I recognized the art style on the cover from the TV show. <laughs> I think the book was like Clarice Bean or something, if I remember right. I know she liked like spy movies and stuff. I, I was a big reader as a kid. I know I enjoyed a lot of uh, different books and stuff. But it's funny because I never gravitated towards, like, the really, really popular book series. I mainly just read, um, you know, stuff that I thought sounded cool based on the summary. So, you know, I, while I was reading, while other kids were reading Harry Potter, I was reading The Land of Elon instead. I have actually, uh, I have never read any Harry Potter books at all, actually. Like, ever in my life. I've only seen clips of the movies, and apparently when I was really young my parents played an audiobook of like the first book in the series, but I don't even remember it. <laughs> I, I never really saw the hype around wizards anyway. Like wizards in general. Played a lot of video games, but you were forced to read. I mean, I played video games too, but like I chose to read on my own a lot. And I think it's because like... I was in like the quote unquote. That's why you're playing Pirate 101, not Wizard 101, then? Yes! <laughs> like, I, I, I respect the wizard players and stuff like that, but Wizard 101 aesthetic wise isn't for me, and I, I, did, why, I did try Wizard 101 at some point, so it's not like I haven't tried Wizard 101 at all. It's just, I tried it and I didn't care for it. I'm not a big fan of card games either, so Wizard having an aesthetic I didn't care for too much, plus the type of gameplay style I didn't care for too much, it was kind of like, eh, wasn't interested. But you know, I respect people that do play it. You play both and Pirate is better. Yeah, that's, that's a consensus I hear a lot from people who play both, is that Wizards might be the more popular game, but Pirate has the better, like, gameplay loop here. and such. We sent him on to the one we're working for. I'll never tell you who we're working for, but we'll leave Flossom quietly and go. I knew these rascals when they were but wee babes, Captain. <laughs> They're good lads, if a little weak willed. Best play. To be honest, what I like about side no I like about pirate side quests is that it reveals a little bit of lore. Like you wouldn't get that, you know. Oh yeah, Ratbeard has some connections to people, you know. Uh, otherwise, if you didn't do this quest, you know. But okay, time to turn in some side quests. This fabric is gorgeous. I've got the Jacob Silver lives in a small okay. shack near here. I'm certain he. There. Okay, okay, a Give me the gold. Deal. Take the gold and scram. Scrimshaw? So he never even left. This place is... I have a friend here. Go visit her and see if she's heard anything about okay. Captain Blackburn. Or these rats a crawling around Flotsam. You played in 64 Mario, 64 Mario Kart, Splash Wars, Golden Eye Level 7, that stuff. Yeah, um, my first gaming console as a kid was uh, Nintendo DSi. But both my parents played... I mean, we had like a family Wii and stuff, but both of my parents now were big PC gamers actually when I was little, so I would, sure I, I remember I would sneak out 
uh, of my room after bedtime, and I'd just go and I'd sit there and I'd lurk behind my parent, one of my parents, and just watch them play computer games at night. It was really cute. Okay, hello! This is Kelly Grew! So yeah, I think you're able to kind of, I think you, you should like encourage your kids to do like multiple things, you know? Let them develop multiple I think interests. I know who Kali is looking for. I pounced on some rats not long ago who said they worked for the rat pack. Ever heard of them? Ooh, she Irish. I'd bet my left ear Blackburn's a captive of this gang of rats. With a bit of trickery, I guarantee I'll get you into their lair. Take this forged letter to Harry Lloyd. He's a Lloyd? good old brute. Good old when Lloyd! It, he'll believe you've joined the rat pack. If anybody knows what that's referencing, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> you had one computer that was a Hot Wheels one, but you liked the N64 better. That's fair. Hello, Lloyd! Mm, Sammy Davies sent you. Hey, this ties into another friend. earlier side quest I we did. Your pretty little face. Sammy may say you're in the pack, but I never saw you tested. Defeat my ghouls, Morl and Marty, to prove you're Morl. Speen! Is there a story to this game? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, the story is divided into uh, different arcs. And you also have side quests that have their own unique stories. Uh, right now we're doing a side quest instead of the main quest. Uh, the main quest objective right now is apparently we have we've it's been rumored that we have some sort of map piece. Uh, but you know our character doesn't actually have that map piece. And then that, then then said ally got kidnapped, so we have to rescue said ally from below. But uh, as Pabu has said, the story is basically after a certain point, it is focusing on getting parts of a treasure map to lead to the golden city of El Dorado. And you go through varying different worlds based on different cultures and set and things like that. I believe that the. Yeah, uh, if I remember right, the big ones are... The area we're in right now is inspired... Spoiler, we don't make it. Yeah! But we defeat the BBE, the big bad evil guy, so I mean... I guess it's okay. But, yes, uh, the, the varying areas of the game are inspired by... Right now we're in the area that's inspired by the Golden Age of Piracy. There's also an area inspired by Colonial Spain. There's an area that's Great Britain. There's another area that's like an odd mix of China and Japan and a little bit of the Mongol Empire thrown into it. Uh, there's an area that's themed around the Wild West. Yes, the Wild West in a pirate game. So yeah, there, there's a lot of... And then there are areas we don't visit, like there's one that's based off of, uh... It's awesome. Yeah, and I, th I think that's what's fun, is that the story, because you have the big objective of getting the map pieces, you have smaller story objectives that revolve around getting to, getting to those map pieces. And of course you're in a competition with, uh, the, uh, evil the technically evil group, uh, the Armada, who are a bunch of robots, essentially is the best way to describe them. And to be honest, it is funny because uh, I think the fandom, the Armada, gets more attention than the actual uh, companions, very which I think is very like funny. It. From the looks of you, I didn't believe you joined the. This letter says Sammy sent you to move our prisoner. Seems a bit hasty. We haven't even got. The prisoner is a famous pirate, Billy Blackburn. They say he's close to the Frog mm. Father and knows ways we can sneak back into Gullet. Well, I'm not one to argue with Red. The prisoner's in our safe house. You know the place. But yeah, uh, earlier, for example, er and some of the side quests in this game actually tie into each other. For example, uh, this side quest that we're doing right now 
uh, actually ties into an earlier side quest we completed. So I think that's really fun. Is that everything kind of ties together a little bit. All right, let's go into the safe house. I got a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. Hello. Yeah, well, Captain Blackburn. Looks like your pal, the Frog Father, sent some help. Ain't it a shame that they'll never leave this shack again? Why does the child have that voice? <laughs> They're connected like ye spider webs. Yeah. And to be honest, that's what's really fun, is that it's fun for you to kind of put together side quest chains and stuff like that. But yeah, and if I had to describe uh, the gameplay of the game, I think a, it's kind of, you've got a power deck similar to what Wizard 101 has. However, the powers are only able to show up once per battle unless you have multiple copies of them from things such as gear or your pets. And then you're, of course, on a battle board like you have in Fire Emblem. And you have your own units like you have in Fire Emblem, which have their own powers and the like. So. Why don't you... Why do you... Why don't I, an adult, have that voice? Well, number one, I am... Well, number one, I am not male and have never identified a male. Sort of D&D inspired combat. Yeah, Pabu, that's a good way of putting it. I think actually in like the data files, some of the uh, classes are actually referred to as D&D class names. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're doing 200 laps on Grand Serimo 7. Hey, if you're having fun, that's the point. You know? Because games are meant to be fun. Money. Curse you, pirate. This ain't the last of the Rat Pack. Take your weak little captain and get out. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, I'm so scared. If you hadn't come along, I'd have been held captive for who knows how long. I thought those dastardly rats would be the end of me. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night and stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. You fell asleep and couldn't drive right anymore. <laughs> oh no! Alright, we're gonna go talk to this guy because he is uh, part of another quest objective. We're on a whale! Also, by the way, this town is named Scrimshaw, and the reason uh, it's named Scrimshaw, I think, is really interesting. Notice how what it's what looks to be like a giant whale skeleton. Uh, Scrimshaw is a type of art where carvings are put into whale bones. sent you? Well, of course she did. I helped to plan a wedding, you know. Entertainment? Oh, I could train my birds to sing a lovely little song. Bother! I forgot that I freed them in Tradewind Skyway. Say, could you bring them back? Ready for us. Yes. This is. You didn't know about. Oh, you didn't know about the fact that uh, some of the classes are. Some of the Pirate 101 classes are referred to as D&D classes in the system. Yeah. Uh, if I remember right, uh, Swashbuckler is Rogue and Musketeer is Ranger. I don't remember what. I don't remember some of the other ones. I think. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you didn't know that about Scrimshaw. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Uh, the only reason I learned it is uh, actually through... Uh, With Captain Black, <laughs> you have my thanks, pirate. It was and through uh, a Stop. music video for uh, a Lemon Demon song, actually. Uh, because uh, one of the lyrics was... He got one of, somebody got his skull exposed, and he's gonna get scrimshaw carved on it. And I'm like, what's that? And then I looked in the comments, and it's, oh, okay, scrimshaw. Some of the more one, other ones that were obvious, like Jonah Town. Yeah, Jonah Town, the Frog Father. 
uh, the Queens of Monquista are actually named after uh, historical queens. Like, Queen Eleanor is named after Eleanor of Aquitaine. I'm not sure about Queen Anna. She might be based off of Anna of Cleves, but I'm not sure. 100%. Queen Catherine is Catherine of Aragon. That type of deal. But yeah, the game, the game is full of punny names and stuff. It's really fun. so much good writing in this game especially yeah i i'm gonna say this like i think some companions are definitely better written than others like you know out of the starter companions i'm sorry musketeer is my favorite class but wing chun is just the worst written starter companion and it's i get what they were trying to do with them and, you know, making kind of like one of those like impatient mentor figures, but it just winds up making him feel a bit annoying. Ooh, excuse me. But, you know, it, it's like, even when they don't necessarily have the best writing, it's still pretty good for, you know, a kid's game from 2012. Wing Chun? Yeah, his name is Wing Chun. Which I believe is actually a type of martial art. Yeah, that's one of my companions. See? Your companions all have different names and will sometimes make comments on the story. It is, yeah! Uh, I know that the swashbuckler companion Subodai is named after Subutai, who was a general uh who was a general of chinggis khan which you guys would probably know by g word khan however i cannot use that as i have said before my professor one of my professors will appear behind me and oh my one no shinderu me if i use the g word more creative than the cow named kobe at least yeah after kobe beef i think the yojimbo part though is at least is a pop culture reference at least uh to usagi yojimbo from i I know that he appeared in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't know if he was a standalone character or not. And Usagi means rabbit. So it's probably they were playing off of that. For him. And it's crab with equivalent Wagyu. I forgot. Oh, fun fact about uh, Subodai's crown equivalent, actually. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go to the crown shop real quick. Uh, fun fact about Subodai's crown shop equivalent companion. Let's go... No, not henchmen, companions. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, Temujin! Yeah, his name is Temujin, and that was actually uh, Chinggis Khan's name before he became Chinggis Khan. His name was Temujin. So I think that's really cool. And actually, Subodai's story reflects uh, what Ching kind of what Chinggis Khan went through as a child, which I think is really, really cool. So I think it's fun that they slipped that they slipped that reference in with the I other sure alternative color. Back. Seeing as they haven't tweeted uh, tweeted for a few months, I hear some gold for a job well done. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fun. And yeah, a lot of the companions have really uh, punny names like that. Have names like that pancake. Uh, there's Bonnie Ann, who's based off of Ann Bonnie, for example. And some of the other ones are just fun little names. Like you have the, you have a rat with the name Graytail or the fabulous Rat Beard. Old Scratch, who is a skeleton. That type of deal. But yeah, I think. I don't mind stream going a little bit over tonight, so do we want to uh, do the... Do we want to go into the uh, Nim dungeon and complete that and then end stream? I think that's a, f I think that's a good thing to do. The very creative El Toro! Very, very clear uh, Zoro reference and whose name just means the bull. Fun thing. The companion is a bull, for those who don't know.
Oh no, rats! The bull, yes. <laughs> In Spanish. I think it's very that El Toro took his title from his father who was a horse. Yes. <laughs> Which that that's something that uh, is later in the story, Pancake. But it's 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 really fun. <sighs> uh, oh, we have my companion that's here in battle right now, who is Louis Labisque, Louis yeah. the Crab Soup, <laughs> and he is French, so. Oh my gosh, he walked right into my trap. Beautiful. Oh, and I killed him before he could even take damage from it. Okay. I was gonna say you've activated my trap card, but it didn't even happen. There we go, we'll do this one. Critical! Double tap! And of course, all the Western references in Cool Ranch. It sounds like a fancy meal at an expensive restaurant. Oh yes, I'll have the Louis Le Bisque, please. Yeah, Duck Holiday. I actually went to a Western art museum and that's how I actually learned about uh, his reference to Doc Holiday. Here we go. But yeah, I think it's fun that Pirate kind of combines like pop culture with historical yeah, references. Like, this quest is the Rats of Nim after the book Miss Brisby and the, the Rats of Nim. Map? What map? What the devil's this map everybody's talking about? <sighs> this level looks familiar. <laughs> We're in the sewers, of course. Yeah. Oh, Persona 5. <laughs> I actually haven't played Persona 5, so... But, I mean, what's a game without its... What's a game without a sewer level? Or a sewer area? Yeah, we're just gonna beat you up. Ah, uh, the critical chains, moi. Or many sewer levels, that's true. I mean, to be honest, if there's a place that you want to do crime in, it's probably the sewers. Or, have, or make, like, a giant ghost in. Dead Island has a sewer level, I mean, yeah. Mario has sewer levels. It's very scary. Yes, we got him. We got him, boys! And now we're stealing their money. Now, if I remember right... There's a companion training tome hiding somewhere in here? Uh, no... Where is it? I feel like there should be one in here. I'm misremembering, maybe. It's on the other side? Okay, no, I guess I just misremembered. Maybe it's a different... Oh, maybe it's the one for one of the companion promotion quests. Hello, Jack! What kept you, pirates? I thought those rats would be the end of me. 
You best watch yourself. Rumor has it the mother of all treasure maps has been found in Skull Island, and that you have it. Every cutthroat and corsair from here to Port Regal's hunting for that map. Captain Avery's been saying you have it. Oh, he has, has he? I take it you don't have the map? Oh, too bad. You should sort this out with Avery. We're even. You don't owe me a favor for this after all. What I hate is when the zombies one-shot you and they're holding a knife in with crazy accuracy and they throw it. Ooh, yeah, that, that sounds scary. But okay, we're gonna go talk to Avery and we're gonna set this straight and then I think we're gonna end stream. Actually, before we go talk to Avery and set things straight, I can finally get spooky too! Come here! Give me the spooky! Spooky! Yes! And now when we get bombs, we will be super mega ultra overpowered and I'm very excited. Okay, let's go see Captain Avery! Actually, we'll go into his office because I think he does uh, a long cutscene thing after we talk to him. So I think we're going to just go into his office and we're going to end it off here. Arson nut? N maybe next time. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, uh, thank you all everybody for coming to stream. Uh, I do have a quick update for Monday. Monday I'm either probably not going to stream or if I do, uh, it will be Skullgirls Mobile as usual. Uh, I just will not have... Uh, I will not have uh, my avatar up because I'll be streaming from my phone because I will be away from my setup. So there will be no avatar, but maybe there will be a stream. 50-50 chance. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't really have any updates to give you. So I will see you next time I stream. Bye guys! It was good seeing all of you. And see ya later!